We can measure lots of different things, but the difference between length, mass, and capacity really matters when we're looking at measuring. When we're measuring the length of something, we are measuring the distance from one end of something to the other end. It could be how long is a paper clip? How long is a guitar? How long is the Boston Marathon? How long is it for a lap around the track? We're measuring the distance from one end of something to the other end of something. That is our length. Now mass, um, if we're measuring mass, it's what you would typically think of weighing something. Um, but we're, we're figuring out the amount of matter an object has. And we have capacity, which is the greatest amount a container can hold. If we're looking at length, we can use different units such as millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer. For mass, we can have grams, kilograms. Capacity, we're going to look at units such as milliliters, liters. Now we use the, the metric system. Um, so we're dealing with things such as meters, liters, and grams as our, as our base units. And we add prefixes onto those base, um, those base units to, to change the meaning. So a, a, a prefix could be kilo, or centi, or milli. All those can be attached to the, the metric preferences um, and change what we're actually looking at. Now, if we're gonna start with, with length here, so we're measuring the distance from one end of something to another, um, we're gonna use um, some units here. So let's look at a couple conversions. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. We also have one meter equaling 100 centimeters. And one kilometer, kilometer, is worth 1,000 meters. We can also use um, a pictorial way to show, show those conversions. If we have kilometers as our, our biggest unit here, meters, centimeters, and millimeters, um, we can jump from kilometers to meters by multiplying our kilometers by a thousand. We can go from meters to centimeters by multiplying our meters by a hundred. Same thing with centimeters to millimeters. We can multiply it by 10 to, to convert our number. You can see where these numbers are coming from right up here. We have 1,000 meters is one kilometer. And that's why we multiply our kilometers by a thousand to convert it to meters. And it works the opposite way as well. If you want to go from millimeters to centimeters, instead of multiplying, you're going to divide by 10. From centimeters to meters, you're going to divide by, you got it, 100. From meter to kilometer, divide by 1,000. Let's look at an example here. So if we have, move this over. If we have 70 meters and we want to convert it into centimeters, we know that there is a 100 centimeters for every meter. So if we're going from meter to centimeters, we're going to have to multiply um, our meters by 100. To do that, we can just add on two zeros. Our answer is going to be 7,000. Now, if we have 4,500 meters and we want to convert that into kilometers, we're going to do a little bit of division here. We're starting at meters and we're going to kilometers. So we have to divide 
by a thousand. So if we're dividing by a thousand, we can move our decimal place over three spots. So our decimal that is here is going one, two, three spots. Our answer is going to be four and five tenths. Now that's working with, with length, remember. We have two other um, ways to measure things that we're looking at. We'll look at mass next. So we'll keep this little conversion um, picture close by because our, our next one is, is very, very similar. It's the same thing. If you can convert um, from one set of units, you can do it with any. So here we're dealing with grams and a gram is worth 1,000 milligrams, one kilogram is worth 1,000 grams, and we have tons, and one ton is 1,000 kilograms. If you like the pictorial way of looking at it, we can do the same thing. We have ton in the middle, or at the end, a kilogram, gram, and milligram. From here to here, same thing, multiply it by thousand from kilogram to gram we're gonna have to multiply it by a thousand and from gram to milligram you guessed it times a thousand so it's a little bit different than when we we're looking at length because the jumps are all a thousand when we're reverse and going backwards we're going to divide by a thousand Divide by a thousand. Divide by one thousand. And our last one when we're looking at capacity, um, we're looking at liters here. So we have our kiloliter, our liter, and milliliter. Um, we can multiply our kiloliters to go to liters by a thousand liters to milliliters same thing times a thousand and we can reverse it as well where we're dividing by a thousand dividing by a thousand so if you have your conversion charts either pictorial or if you like having this um, you should be able to convert by by whatever unit as long as you're in the same realm you're all in length you're all in mass you're all in capacity um, the one trick um, you can obviously use a calculator when you're multiplying by a thousand multiplying by a hundred dividing whatever um, but you need to know how to move your decimal places as well so if you're looking at a number like seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven how original right and let's say we have um, that, many, that many centimeters and we want to convert it into meters. So if we go back to our conversion chart here, um, we're looking at length, so we're going to go from centimeters, which is right here, and we're going to meters, which is over here. So we have to divide that number by, by 100. Our decimal place, when we look at that number, is right here. We're dividing this number by 100, so we need to move the decimal place over two spots. So moving that decimal over one, two spots would make this 77 decimal seven, seven meters. And you can see if I wanted to convert this back into centimeters, I'm moving the decimal spot back over two spots. We're multiplying it by 100. If I was dividing this number by a thousand, I'd move over three spots. One, two, three. Keep track of where your decimal is. Know how many spots you're moving it. Use your conversion charts, and you should have no issue um, converting from units.